Yo, yo, Daily Fire, episode 246. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 246, the wake your ass up mentality. So a long time ago, there's a lot of people that followed my Snapchats where I'd get up every morning and I'd yell, wake your ass up. And it would actually be utilized as motivation to wake their ass up. What people didn't realize is I was basically, it started as me talking shit to myself to make sure I was self-motivated to wake my ass up. So like, look, I'm a fucking machine because of my intention and my process, but I still need to self-talk on a regular basis too, just like every other human. And I would get up. And I forced myself to not ever use snooze. I said, if I'm, if I use snooze, I'm a little bitch ass hoe. Just remember that you hit snooze button. Just think I called you a bitch ass hoe because that's what you are when you use snooze in my opinion, because I'm not about to say, Oh, let me just be lazy for 10 more minutes. It's not just get the fuck out of bed. So I get up and then first step, just feet hit the floor. Second step. Just get to the mirror so I can look myself in the fucking eyes and go, wake your ass up. And there has been times I have said that to myself, like aggressive, like wake your ass up, bitch ass hoe. Like, why are you trying to give in to being soft? Like, these are mind games that you have to play with yourself to get more out of yourself. Because like the last daily fire, your body is going to seek comfort. And if you give in to that comfort, then you're going to give in to not to mediocre, to mediocrity, to not getting what's actually possible out of yourself. That is just the fucking truth. And so what I really, really tried to focus on was how can I not only like manufacture something to keep me motivated, but do something consistently to motivate others so they can draw off that intention to wake up. And there's people that would tell me they'd wake up, go right to Snapchat. They'd see I was up, they'd count on it and it would make them feel bad if they don't get up. If that's what I had to do, that's what I did. Now, a lot of people don't realize uh, why, I, why I stopped the wake your ass up snaps. Um, and I'll share that at a different time. But the reality is, is that for multiple years, people relied on that. And it's one of those things where I believe that it really started out like most of the things that you guys see from me, they're just, they're, they're backstops for me to continue. And I just hope they spill over to help you guys. So it's selfish because it's really to keep myself motivated. But then I realize now I'm accountable to you because you need it too. So it's a mentality. It's a mentality of not seeking comfort. It's a mentality using self-talk. It's a mentality to separate yourself from mediocrity. It's a mentality to ask more of yourself. And if you can ask more of yourself consistently for a long time, you will break through to something greater than you even thought was possible. It's just a numbers game. How long can you stay in the game? How long can you be consistent? How long can you have the mentality to separate yourself from everyone else? And my plan is as long as it fucking takes. Wake your ass up, motherfuckers.